Welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. I am your host, Board Gamer Girl, and last time, uh, <clears throat> we ended up being stuck by a giant metal pencil statue, which is <clears throat> prohibiting us from going to try and find uh, our new friend Paula. Uh, so I came back to the hotel so I could save and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, it costs you $50 if you want to stay here. Um, so, not sure if we're going to do that, but we'll, uh, enjoy. Oh, I think this is the place where I think if you just keep talking to him, I'll give you money. Later days, pal, I like that one. You just said it was hot. And we got fifty dollars, which will pay for our hotel stay. <clears throat> which would be nice. Um Alright. But right, so we need to find a way to get rid of the uh the guy has the mushroom. Yes. No, it's not fun. You are stupid. It is not fun at all having the mushroom on your head. <clears throat> so before we head out, we'll probably stay at the hotel. But until then, we're gonna... I know... Do you guys have anything new to say? No. No. Don't tell me about Tucson. So we need to find a way to get rid of this stupid statue. And the first time, I think I remember mentioning this at the end of the last uh, <clears throat> episode, but the very first time I played this game, when I was, I don't know, we rented it. I think we rented it first. Um, right. I was uh, young, and like I just I could not figure out how to get past that pencil statue. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, there's more crazy people. Um, what are you selling? No. No, I don't care that you didn't steal it. I just don't need a ruler. No, I don't want bananas. What, do I have room in my inventory? Because I could just... I do, okay. I'm talking to you. Oh, no, no. No. Crap. Oh, this is how you... I thought you were the one who wanted the, uh, for sale sign. Someone wants the for sale sign. Do you want the for sale sign? No. Hmm. Sure. So I bought an egg, <clears throat> and we'll, uh, just keep it around. I mean, the cool thing about the for sale sign is that You can buy stuff with it. I see. So people like the orange kid and not the apple kid. Yeah. Well, let's go take a look. Hello, orange kid. No. Right, so the allure of Orange Kid is that, you know, he's all nice and clean and 
fancy. Apple Kid is a little bit more of a slob. Nice. Sure. Sure. Oh good, and we got a broken machine. And we got some tools. Thanks. Hold on. We will, uh, we'll sell the, we'll get, drop the ketchup packet. What do you want to give me? Awesome. So now I have a phone, which is, uh, basically awesome. Although I can only make, I can only get calls from it. Awesome. <clears throat> um, so now basically, I mean, the reason that I, oh, do we hear that cheeping? Because I'm pretty sure that means that I now have a chick as opposed to a, uh, egg. Chick. Awesome. Well, we are going to use our for sale sign and sell this chick. Hopefully. Awesome. I am peddling a chick. Twelve dollars? No. I've got this chick for sale. Well, that's lame. Yeah, you guys are stupid. I'll try and sell the chick at the department store. Pretty sure that's the whole point. We can sell the chick for more money. I'm like, since we're not eating it. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to put it in storage. It's gonna be one of the two. But right, so when I first played it, I I got trapped in the allure of the uh, orange kid. I was like, oh. Well, he's the one everyone's talking about, so clearly, you know, he's the one that I should... Oh, really? People suck. Oh, wait, hold on. I do know what I want you to have. Well, that's fine. You took the check, too. That's whatever. Come on. Really, people? I just want you to take my stupid exit mouse, because I don't need it. We'll just use it in the first place or something that we have. Um, right, so yeah, we have to basically wait around now for a call from the Apple Kid. No. I don't want a hint. Right, and I guess you're supposed to pay this guy to help you figure out what you need to do, but... Well... I don't know. I was just stupid when I was little. <clears throat> Thankfully... Well, why not? We'll take care of a bad guy. While we wait for the applicant to, uh, call us. Hello, unassuming local guy. I'm like, I should not take that long. Hey there, pizza girl. Excellent. Pizza is. It's like the best, uh... 
Uh, interesting. Uh, pizza's like the best, like, you know, health item, really. Um, <clears throat> for just healing yourself. And it delivers, which is great, because you can just call them up and be like, hey. Deliver me a pizza. There are indeed UFOs. We fought one. Well, if the Apple Kid does not hurry up. I'm gonna end up doing some else while waiting for him. Yeah, someone who could fix something. That would be great. Okay, I'm not actually asking you to join the happy, happy religious group, but sure. Uh, that'll just take us to three, which I don't really want to do. Stupid Apple Kid needs to hurry up with my invention. While we rock, 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 walk around and enjoy lovely scenic Tucson. If I drop it on him, it will uh, urge him to finish up some stuff. Hello, Apple Kid. How's it going? Well. <sighs> Alright, well, we're going to rest up at the. Uh, Hello. Well, now we really don't have to rest up. Because that just basically gave us back everything. Um, I'll take care of the zombie dude. And, uh, well, I guess we'll just spend the night there. Why not? Because I just kind of make the stupid phone ring. I don't want to cut and come back to when it rings. I can avoid it. We can talk about the Chaos Theater. Alright, you, yeah, you, we already talked to you. No, 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 stop. Not you. I want to talk to the dude behind you. Oh, maybe I have connections. Apparently I do. Oh. Hey, policeman. Hello, Poochie Fud. Well, at the moment, I don't really see why I would pay off their debt, so... That's fine. They can stay here for a hundred years. That's cool. Ooh, another hippie. school shop. Alright, why not? We'll stay overnight. Yes, Paula. I can hear you. Yes, I'm working on that. Okay, water running. Okay, okay, I'll help you. Oh, hello. Well, that's nice. It's nice that it's it's known that, you know, I stopped them. And having credit where it's due. Hey, 
Hey, Tracy. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Yes, I can cover the bill. I want you to take this stupid exit mouse. And you can take the for sale sign. And you can take our broken machine. Yes, that is correct. Me here, Apple Kid. Do I have to buy stuff from the Orange Kid, too? I could try that, I guess. It's just I know it's a waste of money. Hmm. Maybe if I go to the Peaceful Restful Valley and come back. We're gonna give that a try first. Let's go back to the cave. Wasting time waiting for the apple kid. Oh, let's do a mushroom. Oh well, I guess we'll just fight some monsters while we, uh, while we wait for this crap head to finish making whatever it is. No, it won't hurt me like that. Oh no, we got mushroomized, really? Yes, yes I would. Thank God. Apple Kid, are you gonna call me? Because if you're not, then I have other places I can go and be. Holy crap. Oh god. Please. Oh god. I'm totally dead. I'm totally dead. This was stupid. Awesome. Awesome. Love it. Yeah. What an idiot. Like, not paying attention. Because I'm thinking about this stupid apple kid, and then I die once again. We lost half our money. And... Stupid apple kid. Alright. 
Well, it's interesting that I can stop a truck dead in its tracks and not die. Um. Hopefully there's another butterfly over there, so I don't have to spend all my money. That's the hope. Is there a butterfly over here? Beautiful butterfly. Maybe, maybe. No, no. No butterfly for me. Yes, there's a butterfly. Alright. Please still be there after I finish killing this guy. Oh god. Alright, well. Whatever. I'm gonna not make you guys watch this anymore. Uh, until. <laughs> until I hear from the Apple Kid. So, uh, I'll be back in a second. Okay, our phone is finally ringing. Thank God. Yes. Excellent. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, so... Mm. Right, uh, basically, we had to go back to the Peaceful Rest Valley, and then he would, um figure out this stuff for us. And the other beeping you're hearing are the chickens that I've had, because I picked up some chickens. Um, because I finally remembered, I'm like, who do I have to sell them to? And it's like, you just sell them back to the guy. No. No. Yes, but I have a chicken. No! No. Use. What? No! Ah, oh, this is stupid! No. I should be able to sail them back to this guy. <sighs> you should be able to sell them back to the guy. I guess I just had to talk to him around the side. Probably. <clears throat> oh well, alright. Hey, orange kid. What's up? Excellent. He's in Brooklyn Park. I was just there. <sighs> Losing my chickens. <sighs> this is stupid. I'm not doing so well today. Um, where are you? There you are. Nice. Excellent. Thank you for the magical pencil eraser. Alright. <clears throat> Before we head out, there's a couple things we're going to do. Uh, we're going to sleep at the hotel again. And then we're going to go shopping. Because... I would like to avoid dying as much as possible. Yes, yes. Thanks. Alright. Leave me alone, dude. Sounds like I still have chickens, but I'm assuming it's just the birds chirping. Hello. Alright, let's go to the ATM. And let's use our ATM card. Six 
600 should be fine, hopefully, for what I have planned. Alright, let's head over to the department store and pick up some teddy bears. Because they will help keep me from dying because... Well, this is not the most difficult portion of the game. Uh, I would like to avoid dying if all possible. No. Alright, so I've got two teddy bears, which means that when one teddy bear dies, the other one will spring into action. And then we're going to head over to Burgum Park again. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry, this episode has basically been so pointless. I've done, like, nothing. It's kind of embarrassing. Um. Ew. Yeah. I do want to buy some of your junk. I want to buy your copper bracelet. Yes. I do want to equip it. Yes. And I want you to buy my cheap bracelet. No, there's nothing else I need. Alright. So now we've got ourselves a cheap bracelet. We're gonna fight this crazy policeman and a runaway dog. Well, the runaway dog I don't really care about. Oh no, not one damage. The teddy bear. So it doesn't always hit the teddy bear, but at least like half the time it does. Oh good, now the dog is running. Gosh, thank you. Just attack the cop. Thank you for killing the cop. Thank you for killing the runaway dog. Although those smashes would be better used on something that doesn't have, like, such little health, but sure. Okay. Ness and his teddy bear, out for an adventure. Hopefully, next time, we will get through the peaceful rest valley. That's the plan. Or, avoiding the mushrooms. I just don't want to get mushroomized. It's annoying. Run, 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 Ness. Hmm. Huh. Like, no enemies in here. That's special. Alright. It's because I already fought them here. I'm guessing. I don't know. Good, so let's use our pencil eraser. Awesome. Now, of course, I have to remember where to go. Good luck with that. Oh no, are you kidding? Another picture? Fantastic, me and my teddy bear. Fuzzy pickles! Thanks. Okay. Dude, it's a giant tree. Alright, we're gonna have to fight the giant tree. And this is probably how we'll end the episode. Me fighting a giant tree. Territorial oak. Brain shot. What the hell is that doing? Well, oh, good. I'm glad it didn't work on the teddy bear. Just please don't like erupt into flames. 
a vacuum attack. Oh. Shoot, you do burst into flames. Oh my gosh! It's a lot of damage to the poor teddy bear. But the teddy bear's still alive, because its little counter didn't get, you know, rolled all the way down or something. Woo! Yay! Go teddy bear. Oh gosh. Um, alright. We're gonna call it here for right now. Uh, so thanks everyone for watching. This is Board Gamer Girls, and have a great day. See ya!